Hello Gemini, welcome to your channeled messages with me, Eva Spirit, for the 10th to the 24th of June 2022. Let's get started. Messages for the Gemini Collective, please. Gemini, 10th to the 24th, Gemini. Let's tune into the guides. Yes. What do you want to talk to the Gemini collective about? Please? Thank you. I feel like there's another one to come out to. Thank you. All right, Gemini, you got the cow, which says give with unconditional love and grace. And you also got the dove, which says spread messages of peace and harmony. Uh, what I'm, yeah, this is, um, this is relational to me. There's something here about expansion. I'm getting the sense here that your your life is expanding. Um, there's something about the the audience that you are able to reach or the amount of people you're able to help, have an impact, have an influence on is expanding. Uh, you could be moving up the ranks with your work or career. You could be working on YouTube. You, you could be some sort of influencer online. And there's just something about your reach um, growing and expanding now uh also you being someone that many people are going to look up to and they're giving me a message here about radiating love radiating love uh, it could be that for whatever reason at this point in time the spotlight is on you or is going to be on you whether it's directly or indirectly attention is on you eyes are on you and it's about uh sort of this being something that makes you want to be better right makes you want to be the best version of yourself and it it also serves as an opportunity for you to uh let go of old things it's, it's sort of like rid yourself of old energy almost like old resentments what i'm getting to things that you may have been stuck on in the past or and scenarios and people and it's like now you're life has expanded or is expanding and because of that you realize that there's no point to hold on to certain things and so it, it's just the right time it seems uh, for these things to fall away you could be part we've got you know two two and two here we see two doves and then two cows so as i said yes this is relational you could be uh partnering up with someone and something about what they do um puts you more in the limelight or or because you're with someone now um more focus is on you more attention is on you maybe you're getting engaged or married and so there's all of this sort of thing happening as well it could be that you're pregnant even too um there's just something about your relationships and your connections that that um is causing people to more people to know who you are and there's a lot of light in these cards as well, which is why I'm getting about sort of this being um, a, a reason for you to lighten your load as well, to raise your energy. Okay. Gemini, please. Gemini. I'm getting sort of corporate business CEO type of energy as well. So um, it could be a promotion with work. Let's see and tune in. Gemini. Gemini. Ooh, the magician came out. Seven of Swords. Mm. In reverse. I think you're moving on from something. I think perhaps you gave something a chance in the past. It didn't work out. And so you're free from it as well. I feel like you're, you have a lot more space or freedom to pursue something as well. And as a result, things are starting to happen. Uh, we've had the full card in reverse. And actually, as I touch this card, what I'm getting is a sense that you, you tried something and it didn't work out. And they said, they just said swiftly. So you moved swiftly on 
from this energy. Um, you're able to take everything that you experience and use it to your advantage, to your benefit, learning the lessons um, and realizing that you do create your reality. There's some sort of realization and I feel with this expansion that's happening for you, you have a, an acute sense that this is your doing. This is your manifestation. The Seven of Swords in reverse here. This is, I'm getting a feeling here about releasing something or someone. So maybe there had been previously a big change in your life. And I feel like it sort of, yeah, it freed up a lot of space, uh, not just physically, but mentally, emotionally. Maybe you had a, a recent breakup or you uh, moved out of a place where you were that wasn't very good for you, something like this. But you freed up a lot of space in your sphere. Um, as I said, you gave it a go, it didn't work out. And it, I don't feel, I feel like this is actually something that is has been good for you. It's pushed you forward. Um, yeah, they're saying that it's made you realize that it's about you now. So it's about, um, because you're being pushed to be more well known out there, right? Sort of, I want they, they're sort of saying like on the pedestal, um, you're being, yeah, thank you. They're saying being pushed into the limelight in some way. And so the baggage needs to be light. And again, that's that's the thing about you wanting to be the best version of yourself. Maybe that was the catalyst also for you deciding to let go of things that no longer served you with the Seven of Swords in reverse. We've got the um, Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is this is the energy what I'm getting here is about. It's um, it's about you. It's not about trying to find the balance in those relationships right now. It's like. Um, Focusing and honing your own uh, power and sight is actually something that makes you brighter and lighter. It's not that you're trying to work things out with someone anymore. Chariot in reverse with the Queen of Wands in reverse. It's a stationary energy. It could be that there's a pause. Uh, you may still have some things that you have to work out, sort of logistics and details. If that's the case, then I feel like you are going to be successful with it. Uh, there's also a message here about want you wanting to do things in your in your own time uh, when you're good and ready. That's just what they're giving me. You want to do things in your own time when you're good and ready. But life is pushing you, okay? And it's about getting in tune with the timing of the universe and, and preparing yourself. And I'm getting a message here about you getting ready for something. Okay, Gemini, that's what I got for you. I hope it helps. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you resonate with my work. Thank you so much. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.